Hi there, and welcome to week 11 pre-lecture video for separation processes. This week we're moving on to the final, but perhaps most interesting topic in the whole unit, which is membrane separations. So membranes are particularly interesting because they can be used in a, in a wide variety of applications, and they can achieve separations with quite small units, and generally with relatively low energy consumption. And so compared to a lot of traditional separation technologies, they're very attractive in that regard. They're not suitable for all applications, however, but in the past that was usually because we didn't have suitable membrane materials for certain applications. A lot of people are doing research in developing new membrane materials, and as a result of that, new membranes are becoming available all the time. And so the range of applications for membrane separations is increasing. In this unit in particular, we're going to look at two particular types of membrane, technology, uh, membrane separations. The first one are liquid-liquid separations. And so membranes are particularly useful in liquid-liquid separations when the two solvents are completely miscible in one another because it, it allows you to separate the two phases and just have the solute transferring between them. The second application of membranes that we're going to look at in this unit are gas separations. So uh, within gas separations, there's a very wide range of, of other topics, but in particular, we'll look at small gas separations, for, for example, methane, CO2, oxygen, and nitrogen. And the other one we'll consider are alkane, alkene separations, which are a particular interest in the petrochemical industry. A little bit of housekeeping for this week. Uh, class test two, the final class test is on Monday. It's a closed book test. You can bring a pen, pencil, ruler, eraser, calculator, uh, and we'll cover all the material up to gas absorption in packed beds. Uh, and as usual, we'll try and mark those tests and get them back to you within uh, 48 hours. That's it for this, uh, this pre-lecture video, and I look forward to seeing you in class.